Still on the Highland Outdoors stand, but here I have tier one over my shoulder, you may spot. And uh, I'm just about to quiz uh, to AJ from tier one on what he's got. And this is, I know already from my friends who use tier one gear, it's top class gear. Um, and uh, I've got one of the, it's all made in house in the UK. And I've got one of their guys here, to AJ, to talk me through it. Okay, so this is the tier one stand. Hi AJ. Hi guys, um, welcome to tier one. So tier one uh, started in 2007, manufacturing um, precision optic rings. That's where we, really, where we really started. We made our name making kind of high-end um, precision rifle, long range um, target shooting accessories. And then we started doing a lot, a lot of stuff for the military. So um, our, our, our optic mounts um, are really kind of where we made our name. Um, and then the military approached us asking us to build them a bipod. So we, we, we had a, an FTR bipod for bench rest shooting and then we, uh, we, we, we made our, our first bipod which is the tactical bipod. Right. So this has actually ended up being our kind of our most popular bipod over the years. Right, okay. Even though it started out for the military, uh, it's evolved over the years. Um, okay. it's, still, it's still super lightweight, so this is uh, 230 grams. It's all cool. aircraft grade aluminium, well it's best than aircraft grade, it's 7,000 T6 aluminium. So this is, just for those viewers not sure, aircraft grade aluminium alloy, so it's, it is, it's, yes. it's, it's lighter but it's an awful lot stronger than it, aluminium. It, it's, incre it's incredibly light, incredibly strong, and we use aerospace grade carbon as well on the legs. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really you, rigid, really stiff system. And you were saying everything apart from the rubber feet is made in house in the UK. That's right. Everything, everything's made in our factory in Yorkshire. Excellent. Um, so we have these boots made for us, but otherwise everything's made in house, including the screws. We, we make right. the screws. And awesome. Every, all, every pin. And if it's military spec, it's obviously bomb proof. It, it's pretty. It, 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 it has to be absolutely pretty tough. Um, this, this is our our most kind of simple, lightweight bipod. This has been really popular with. Um, people would be foxing and stalking and things like that because it's lovely and lightweight. Right. Um, it can it can attach to um, to the rifle one-handed in, 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 in a second. Right. So it's very very quick to attach with our smooth cam QD system. Right. It works really well. It's very effective. We actually brought this from our um, our, our optic mounts. Right. And so it worked so well. So we uh, we just a, brought it across. So Picatinny QD. Can you just explain a little bit more about that quick clamp? Absolutely. You've got a, le a lever for clamping. Absolutely. So the way the way this works, a lot of QD systems actually um, actually actually work against the um, on, on a Picatinny rail on the, the underside. There's a there's a there's a chamfered channel to groove. Yeah. Um, and what happens is as, as they as they clamp down, it induces forces up against that that V, yeah. which actually induces a small amount of. of Twist, of torsion. Yeah. Now, we, we, we engineered that out of the optic mounts because you don't want that on an optic mount at all. Right. Um, but it works so well and it's so repeatable. Uh, we, yeah. we've been at our, our QD optic mounts are so, so repeatable that... Return to zero, yeah. The return to zero on those has been phenomenal. The things we've bench, benchmarked them against is just blowing everything out of the water. Right, um, okay. So we just kind of thought, well, we don't need it on a bipod, but why not just bring it across to the bipod? Because awesome. you, know, what, you know, why make a different QD system on the bipod? So I see you've got a, 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 a uh, hold on if I get my yeah, hand yeah. In. So we've got we've, we've, we've got, got, got the locking button here. So what? Right. So we, we've got three positions on this lever. Right. So we're on the close lock position, and then you push the button to release it, and that'll go to what we call our adjustment position. So that's still locked. Right. And then we go push the button again, and that goes to our open position. Right. So when you set this up for the first time. Um, um, it's what, what we'll do. I'll, I'll show you on a stock here, actually. Okay. okay. So uh, here's a rifle stock with a with a Picatinny mount. So yeah. when you're mounting and setting up the Smooth Cam QD system for the first time, you open up the lever all the way. If you look here, there's a hooked side and a flat side. Yeah. So quite simply, you get the hooked side, stick that on, yeah. and then just go straight up. So you come on from the hooked side, mount that up, and then you close the lever. Right. And then you come to, to this adjustment wheel here. Yeah. So you hand tighten that. Right. As tight as tight as tight as it'll you know realistically go hand tight. Right. And then we open this lever up to the lock the, the adjustment position, which is halfway. Yeah. Give it another quarter All right. to half half turn. Check check the tension. Yeah. To where you like it. And then lock that down. Right. And, then, that, and then, then that's kind of retained. And, that, and that's it then. So then to open it up, it's just open it all the way. And, it, and, and the it, bipod comes off, off, it, off, off it, it on. 
lock that down and then it's on. And Brilliant. so you can do it one hand within within a second. So it really right. is it really is very quick to touch. Right, and there's a good a good length of adjustments on these fellas as well. Yeah, so we do all our tactical range in two leg lengths. So this is our 180 mm leg. Right. And we oh, do a, a longer 230 mm leg as well. Right. I'll zoom back so, so I can get that on the frame. Yeah. So um, what's what's nice about about these legs is if, if you're out foxing or stalking and you need right. to be really quiet, you can push the button and open the legs silently. Right. Or if you're in a hurry and you need to get into a shot quickly, you can just yank the legs down. Right. Okay. Um, Brilliant. So on our tactical bipod, we've got um, two positions, well, three positions on the leg. So we've got the, the bipod in its open position yeah you can lock the legs down at 45 degrees right and the legs you can work independently so you know, if you're in a really awkward shooting position yeah you know you can you can you can get the bipod into pretty much any you know any position to get yep. really secure excellent um, and then obviously in the closed position and that's deployed underneath the bipod it's lovely and low profile well, super low profile underneath whoops, the rifle I'm just angle there we go yep so unlike many traditional bipods that have quite, got quite big bulky systems, yes. you've got a lot of hanging down, there's a lot to get caught on you know, backpacks or, yep. or clothing if you're out, if you're out stalking. Yep. This is really low profile and, uh, and, and slimline, so it, it works really well. Right, so this is basically your, your lead item, is it? Yes, this is our tactical bipod. Um, it's called the tactical bipod because it was originally designed for military. However, yep. it's, it's, it's probably our most popular bipod across the water. For, right. for people out in the field, oh, how and how incredibly much popular with air rifle shooters. Right. Okay. Um, What's the RRP on these? Um, the RRP on these, I think, is two nine three. Right. So and they start it's a seri serious bit of kit. It's a bit serious, of kit. serious bit of kit, but you know, to be honest, um, I get the impression this will last a lifetime it, anyway. It, it, abso it absolutely will, and you know, we stand behind our products as well. Yes. So um, it's uh, it, you know, it, it is designed and made to last. So excellent. That's our tactical bipod. Right. Um, what else have you got? Moving on from that, we have our ATAC. So our right. ATAC takes the tactical bipod kind of to the next next level, really. So right. this is designed more for people who um, are looking for something that they can use in a bit of competition use as well. Oh, right. They might not have a really big, heavy rifle. They might have a, a hunting rifle that they want to do a little bit of uh, shooting right. with, or those that are doing things like the Precision Hunter series. Um, so you've got a nice, lightweight system, right. but you've got a lot of adjustability. So the legs well, can right. the legs can, can go vertical. So if yeah. you're if you're shooting. The rifle from the shoulder, right? You can almost use it like a vertical grip. Okay, right. The legs will then deploy super wide. So if you need to get really low, right, or super wide and stable, right, you, you can you can get the bipod into all kinds of positions, right. Um, awesome. And obviously the legs will go out to forty five degrees forwards as well. If you're right. shooting down off a barricade or something like that, you can get into it. Or if you shoot downhill, right, off a, off a bank trying to get down onto a beast you right know, you can get yourself into a really good position with it so it's really adjustable it's really modular all our bipods um, in our tactical range have modular feet right. so if you have a look here there's a little pin yeah and a little depression so that's designed that you can feel you can do this in the dark with your eyes closed and that's yep. how you can feel where that pin is yeah all you need is a bullet tip or right. a pen or a pin or something like that you depress that the foot comes off and then right. you can replace it with our spike feet or other right support. okay we do also do a 50 mil leg extender so if right. you buy the, the the short bipod and you find that every now and again on the odd occasion or maybe perhaps in the summer when the grass is taller you need a little bit of extra leg length right. you can just add our 50 mil leg extenders and then the foot so the foot comes out leg extender goes on foot goes on to the end of the leg extender excellent so and so rrp on these rrp on these i think it's 330 right. around around that mark um, serious piece of kit so it's yeah so it's um it, it really is a serious piece of kit so they work really well. Yeah. Um, now, moving on from that, this is something we've launched at the show this weekend. Oh, right, this is something new then. This is brand new. This is our ELR V2 competition bipod. So this is really aimed at the long range shooters that are shooting off big, heavy rifles. Right, okay. The PRS market, guys doing ELR. Um, we, we've so. had some guys that are off to King of Two Mile come and pre order some of these. So they oh, right. Two we've mile won, shooting. We've, we, yeah, we've won King of Two Mile before with our FTR bipod. Right. Um, but the rules have changed because the FTR bipod is a, a big bench rest rig. Right. They've changed the rules now that you need a folding bipod. So okay. this really fills, fills that gap. So it's a conventional bipod yep. in that sense. Yeah. Compatible with, again, modular feet. You can have spike feet on. We've got a barricade stop that's reversible so you can mount it so that if you're pushing against the barricade yep. or mounting the other way if you're pulling against so the barricade. So a bipod with a built in barricade stop. That's built pretty in impressive. barricade stop. Yeah. Yep. And, um, has a pod lock lever at the back so you can make really quick adjustments to the to the tilt right. tension. Again, just like the ATAC, it's incredibly modular. So right. it, can, it can go from a vertical position. And again, all the legs, all the legs can move independently to get you in the perfect position. Yep. We can get super wide. Right. 
Oh. Really, really stable. Yep, super long. Excellent. Again, it's all 7,075 T6 alloy. Right. Um, aerospace grade carbon. All the materials we source from the UK, the carbon we actually get from Germany, um, because most of the carbon we found in the UK doesn't actually come from Europe, it's sourced from, from the Far East. Right. And so so we, we, we wanted to ensure we got the best quality carbon we could. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but air, it's, like I said, all and, made, and, all made in the UK. This is well beyond anything for air rifles, this is well, long range stuff. It, it is, however, we have had several air rifle shooters come and pre order them. Oh, right. Um, the show. Okay. Um, so, and what's the RRP for this? This is five hundred and fifty pounds. Whoa. Um, okay. There's a lot of material and a lot of machine time in this. Yes. A lot of technology and, um, in that. But compared to the the, 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 the closest competition competition to this is about three hundred pounds more expensive. Right. And this weighs seven hundred grams. The competitor is about one point one kilos. Whoa. Um, so it's, it's it's incredibly light and relatively good value actually. Yes. It or not. For a five a five hundred fifty pound bipod might sound very expensive, which it is. Yeah. But it actually. In, in relative terms, it's actually quite good value. I love that it's got a built-in barricade stop for PRS. <laughs> I love it. Excellent. So yeah, so this has actually been, you know, we've, there's been a lot of development with PRS shooters over the last two years. Right. We originally de um, developed our, our, or brought out our first ELR bipod two years ago at the show. Right. So over those two years, we've been really working with the PRS community to right. build what, 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 what they believe is going to be the, the best PRS bipod out there. Awesome. So the best extreme long-range shooting bipod. Brilliant. Um, in a conventional format. Thank so, you. So we've covered all the bases there, I think. So, awesome. Uh, um, yeah, no, we're, really, we're really proud of our products. Like I said, all made in the UK. Um, we're, we're, we're a British company and we're, you know... We're, excellent. We're really so, proud of that. Thanks very much for your time. No problem, thank you. And thanks Cheers. for watching the video. Yeah, excellent. So, um, onwards and upwards. Yeah, thank absolutely. you. All right, take care. Enjoy the show, guys. Cheers. Take care.